this we already have discussed actually that is the la2 uh, aorta dimension usually it's taken in the plaques view and you have to take uh, the m mode across cursor across the aorta uh, just uh, distal the sinus of valsalva and uh, at the middle of the la and you can take at the la diameter and the aortic root diameter and la to aorta ratio is calculated if it is more than 1.5 most probably you are dealing with a dilated la compared to the aorta so in this kind of scenario where we are having a patient with pda it only means that the lv is under pressure because of the increased blood flow across the pulmonary circulation and it is getting into the aorta so the the cardiac output has increased and lv and la are getting into the pressure so there is a la dilatation is there because of the hyperdynamic circulation being taken place so in this case it is also it is one of the markers of severity of the uh, non restrictive nature of the pda or the in otherwise large pda another marker is the descending aortic blood flow which we will be discussing further so this is one of the marker of the large pda we discussed three things about the large pda one is that the diameter of the pda during the actual uh, visualization if it is more than 3 it is a large pda another is the la to aorta ratio if it is more than 1.5 it's most probably a very big uh, large uh, non restrictive pda another is the diastolic flow uh, across the uh, descending aorta which we will discuss further uh, we will also further tell you the severity of the pda uh, severity of the or the dimension of the pda which is very large and uh, very non restrictive blood flow